everyone and welcome back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a no-bake chocolate biscuit cake, also known as mosaiko in Greek. It's a Greek chocolate mosaic cake just because when you slice into it, it looks like little layers of a mosaic. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a cupcake version because I have my little helpers here, Layla, my daughter, Evan, my nephew, and Ellie, my niece. They're going to help us because this is a perfect recipe to get the kids involved. It's nice as a birthday treat. Let's get started. We're going to begin by making the chocolate sauce. So for the chocolate sauce, we need some unsweetened cocoa powder, unsalted butter, granulated sugar, some semi-sweet chocolate, but you can use dark, milk, or even white for this, vanilla extract, and some whole milk. Guys, why don't you add the ingredients except for the chocolate and the vanilla? Evan, you want to put the milk in? Go ahead, pour that in. No, 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 in here. I'm gonna put yeah. it. I'm gonna put it, Mom. It's okay, keep pouring, no problem. I'm gonna put it. Mama. Put this in. Can I put it? Can I put the sugar in? What do you do with the chocolate? We're gonna take this over to the stove and cook it over medium heat until everything melts and comes together. So once everything is melted and it's simmering, you're gonna turn the heat off and we're gonna stir in about a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now Evan's going to put the chocolate in one at a time. Don't plop it in because it'll burn you. Go ahead, Evan. And again, this is off the heat. And now we're just going to whisk it until that chocolate is melted and smooth. Just like this. It's all ready. We're going to take it to the counter. Now for the biscuits. You can use either these tea biscuits that are found almost everywhere. Or you can use these, which are my favorite little tea cookies. These are called Miranda biscuits. If you can find them in like a Greek specialty food store, they're delicious and they're very light. Or you can use your favorite cookies. We're just going to use one pack. And we're going to crumble these up in here by hand. Now I'm going to pour the chocolate sauce all over the crumbled up biscuits. And I'm just going to mix it all up until they're all coated. Now I'm going to add some milk chocolate chips in here just to sweeten it up since we are serving it to kids. At this point you could substitute the chocolate chips for nuts like pralines or walnuts or pecans or whatever your favorite nut is. Or you could do dried fruit like raisins, apricots, cranberries. But I like the milk chocolate because kids really like it too and it makes it really nice and sweet. And the heat of the chocolate sauce sort of uh, makes the chocolates melt. So it's really good. I have a cupcake tin lined with cupcake liners and I'm just going to go ahead and fill these up almost to the top and you can press it down with a spoon. You could also do this with an uh, ice cream scoop if you like. Now the final thing that we're going to make is the ganache which is going to be a glaze as if this isn't chocolatey enough but trust me this is going to take it to that next level. I have some really hot heavy whipping cream and some semi-sweet chocolate and a little bit of pure vanilla extract. We're going to let the chocolate sit in the heavy cream for a little bit until it softens and melts and then we're just going to whisk it until it's nice and smooth and silky. And just like that, the ganache glaze is ready. Now we're going to pour it on top of our cupcakes. Spread it so it can get to the, to the edges. Now we're going to set this in the refrigerator for three to four hours until they're chilled and nice and set. So we waited long enough, Evan is bored and he needs to eat a cupcake right now. Before we get started on taste testing, I whipped up some vanilla whipped cream. I made it a million times on the channel. The recipe will be down below. It's just three ingredients, super simple. And you could serve it alongside with this with some sliced berries, which is really nice because it adds some freshness and it lightens the whole thing up because this is a really rich and delicious cupcake. Now we're going to cut into it, but before we do, I'll tell you that this recipe makes about 11 to 12. Trust me, you're not going to end up with 11 to 12. You're going to have about 10 because, especially if you're making with kids, everybody's going to want to taste it, right guys? Yeah. And it tastes yeah. delicious. So you're going to get about 10 cupcakes. If you want to double the recipe, then you can make it in a cheesecake pan, in a 9-inch round cheesecake pan. If you want to do something a little bit more elegant, if you're serving it at a dinner party and you, and you don't want to do individual servings like the cupcake. Do everything I did, but just double everything and then put it in a cheesecake pan, press it down and do the same thing that I just did and serve it. It's going to be so pretty and so delicious. If you want me to show you a quick version of that, let me know in the comment section down below and I will film another recipe for you. I don't have a problem. Now we're going to go ahead and taste it and see if it's kid test, kid approved. Let's go guys. Evan does not like whipped cream on his, so he's going to take one. 
You choose one, Evan, whichever one you want. I, I like one I'm with cream. Can I eat it? Yeah, go ahead. Of course you can eat it. Ellie, I mean, Layla, this one is yours with the whipped cream. Ellie, do you want some whipped cream? Yeah? Which one do you want? I don't think she never tried it. This one? Let me open it up for you. Ellie, do you want some berries? Do you want some berries? Go ahead, pick it up and give it a taste. Evan, why don't you show the camera how it looks on the inside? So pretty, it looks just like a mosaic. Has a mosaic pattern inside, which hence the name Mosaico. How is it, you guys? Great. Great? Ellie? Two thumbs up. Layla? Two thumbs up. There we have I'm it. I'm trying to do it with my foot. I think I should give it a little taste too. Let's see. Mmm. The biscuits are nice and buttery and light. They've absorbed the liquid from the sauce and they've softened up a bit. The ganache just gives it a little bit of richness and it isn't as sweet as the rest, so it kind of balances it really nicely. The berries are a perfect side for this. The recipe, as always, is on the website, www.dimitrasdishes.com. Head on over and print it out. It's also written underneath the video in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Say yes, us, everyone. Yes, yes us. us. Yes, us. <laughs>